Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, we will start designing this full screen nav menu using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So, let me show you how it works. This is our menu button, and if I click on this menu button, we have this animation for this nav menu. And when you hover over these menu items, we have this hover effect. And uh, now, if you click on this close button, the animation reverses, and uh, we have the reverse animation for all the items. So this is what we're going to design in this uh, tutorial series. Now in this first video, we will just create the design using HTML and CSS. And in the next video, I'll show you how to create the animation. So let's get started. All right, here I have created this folder called full screen menu and I just opened it with VS code. Now let's create the necessary files. So let's click on new file. And let's create an HTML file. I just name it index.html. And we also need to have a CSS file. Let's name it style.css. And we'll also create a JavaScript file. Let's name it main.js. Let's start with the index.html file. Now in VS Code, you have the shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab. And you will have this basic HTML5 code. All right, let's link our CSS file over here. And uh, I'll just type style.css in the href. And uh, here I'll just link the JavaScript file. So let's create a script tag. And in the SRC, I'll just type main.js. Right now let's start with the markup of our design. Right, the first thing we will design is uh, this menu button right here. So let's create a division with the class of menu icon container. And in that for the menu icon, let's create a division with the class of menu icon. And in that we will have the actual image. So for that, we will use heroicons.com. So here I'm in heroicons.com and let's search for menu. And here we have these icons. Let's choose this one right here. So let's click on copy SVG. And let's paste the icon over here. Right now, let's write the markup of the menu items. So we need to have this logo and this close icon. And then we need to have these menu items. So let's go outside this uh, menu icon container division. And let's create a division with the class of menu container. And in that we will have this whole menu. So the first thing we need to have is a division for this logo and this close icon. So let's create a division with the class of top. And in that we will have this logo and this close icon. Now for the logo, let's create a division with the class of logo. And here I'll just type LB dot. And then for the close icon, let's create a division with the class of close icon. And in that we will have the close icon. So let's go back to heroicons.com. And let's just search for close. And here we have this icon right here. So let's copy the SVG. And let's paste it over here. Now the next thing we need to have are these menu items. So for that, let's create a division. So let's go outside the top division. And let's create a division with the class of menu items. And I'll just enclose all of this uh, inside one more division so that we have the fixed width for these elements. So here I'll just create a division with the class of content. And I'll just add the top and the menu items division inside this content division. Right now in this menu items division, we need to have these menu items. So let's create anchor tags for that. And here you can add the link of your pages. I'll just add a hash for now. And the first one is home. So let's type home. And I'll just duplicate this three more times. And then we have about courses and contact. All right, I think that's it with the HTML. So let's open this in our browser and let's see how it looks. So I have this extension called live server installed in VS Code. So once you have this extension installed, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. And now here we can see that our design is displayed in the browser. Right now let's start styling this. So let's go to our style.css file. And uh, first of all, let's target the menu icon container. So here we have this division with the class of menu icon container. And in that we have this uh, menu icon. So let's type menu icon container. And let's set the width of this menu icon container to 100%. And 
and if I'll just add a background color here we can see this is how it looks right now right now let's decrease the height of this icon so here we can see we have this SVG inside the menu icon container so here I'll just type menu icon container SVG and uh, let's set the height of the SVG to 40 pixels and uh, this is how it looks we need to bring this icon to the right side so let's target this menu icon container and we'll set the display to flex and we'll set the justify content to flex end and now we can see that the icon is on the right side and we'll also set the position to fixed so that it will always be in the top position and we'll also set the top to zero and the left to zero and let's also add some padding so let's set the padding to 30 pixels top and bottom and 60 pixels left and right and now we can see that the icon is not being displayed because the height and the width is also increased because of this padding so for that you have to type box sizing and set it to border box and now we can see that the icon is displayed over here let's also set the cursor to pointer so let's tap cursor pointer and now if you hover over this we can see that the cursor changes to pointer all right now let's delete this background color Right, that's it with the menu icon now let's style the other elements so if you go back to the index.html file here we can see we have this division with the class of menu container so let's style that so here let's type menu container and the first thing we will do is we'll set the position to fixed and uh, we'll set the background color to yellow and now we need to set the left top bottom and right to zero so that it covers the whole screen so you can just type top zero left zero right zero and bottom zero and now we can see it has the full height and width but you can also delete all of this and just type inset and set it to zero this will also do the same thing all right now let's style this logo right here so the logo is inside a division with the class of logo so let's type menu container logo and let's set the font size of the logo to 30 pixels and uh, we will set the font weight to 900 and uh, let's set the color of the text to d62828 right now let's change the font so i'll just target menu container and here I'll just type font family and we'll just set it to roboto sans serif right now let's target this icon so the icon is inside this division with the class of close icon and in that we have this svg so let's type menu container close icon svg and let's set the height of this icon to 40 pixels and we'll also set the cursor to pointer right now we want to have this icon and this logo side by side so let's target the container division so the container division is top so in that we have the logo and the icon so let's type menu container top and let's set the display to flex and we'll also align items to the center right now we want to have this logo on the left and the icon on this right side so for that you have to type justify content and set it to space between right now we need to add some padding so let's go back to our html file and here we can see we have this container division called content so let's add the padding to the content so here i'll just type menu container content and uh, let's set the padding to 30 pixels top and bottom and 60 pixels left and right right now let's style these menu items so the menu items are inside this division with the class of menu items and if you go back to the design here we can see that the menu items are one next to the other but we want all of them to be one below the other so let's target the menu items here let's type menu container menu items and let's set the display to flex and flex direction to column and we also need to bring it to the center 
so let's type align items to the center and justify content to the center and now you can see it is centered horizontally but we also want it to be centered vertically so right now the height of this menu items division is not 100% so let's type 100% height over here and we also need to change the height of this content so if we just add a background color this is the height right now for the content so let's set the height of this to 100% and now we can see it is in the center but it is in the center of this menu items division so if I just add a background color over here here we can see these menu items are in the center of this division now since we have a gap over here at the top we need to add some margin top of some negative value so let's calculate the value that we need to add so let's right click over here and click on inspect and here we can see for the top we have a height of 44 pixels so here we can see we have the height set to 44 pixels and we also need to take into consideration the padding at the top so if I select this uh, content and if I scroll down here we can see we have a padding of 30 pixels at the top so we need to add them so we need to add 30 plus this top height which is 44 so let's go back and uh, here for this menu items let's add a margin top of negative 74 pixels which is 30 plus 44 and now we can see that these menu items are exactly in the center right now let's remove this uh, background color right now let's style these anchor tags so the anchor tags are inside the menu items so let's type menu container menu items a and let's set the font size of the menu items to 50 pixels and let's remove the underlines so let's type text decoration and set it to none and let's also set the color of these anchor tags to black and now let's add some gap between these menu items so let's go back to the menu items and here we have already added a display of flex so here we can just type gap and we can set a value over here so let's set it to 20 pixels and now it looks all right so that's it with the design of our full screen nav menu now in the next video we will add this hover effect and also the animation for these elements so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day Thank <laughs> you.